Hi there. I've got this 2006 Honda Reflex and I had it uh, pretty much all together and then it wouldn't start and it culminated in um, pulling the carburetor out. So instead of giving a big long story as to why that is, we're just going to get right into where all these lines run. I was able to scan internet and look at a lot of forums a lot of pictures and kind of figure out where it all goes and I thought well since I've had to pull the carburetor off once I get it rebuilt maybe I could just take a minute and show you where all these lines go so if you have one of these um, scooters that somebody's messed the lines up on or you even forgot where your lines go maybe this video will help you I'm going to start off with there's this line right here and you notice it kind of has a little hook on it and I wrote bottom spigot. Now on the bottom of the carburetor there's actually three spigots. There's one that's integral to the carburetor and there's this piece here that screws on and all it is is like a little block heater. Of course I knocked the screw out. I'll get it put back in so don't forget where it goes. Okay so if you notice they kind of go off at a uh, v-shape those are coolant lines we'll get to those in a minute anyways this line right here if you follow that and trace it you can ignore my bandana that's just so i don't drop anything in the intake comes all the way up here and i don't know what this thing is but as long as you get it hooked up right that's all that matters and it snakes around and comes right here okay this thing here has this line that goes down here off into La La Land. And there's another line that goes down in there. And let's see where it goes. Oh, it actually is this line right here. And I've got that marked as top carb. So what that means is, is this line that comes straight down from this device. This is underneath where your seat would normally be. It's going to go to the spigot on top of the carburetor, which is right there. If you can see my, see around my fat fingers. So that's where that's going to go. All right, then also, when I was working on this thing, is that line right there, get my hand out so it stays focused, that little line down in there, it comes and snakes around. Let's see if I can find it in here, because I've got it marked somewhere where it goes. Oh yeah, there's a little T-fitting that kind of sits tucked up here underneath your, your frame rail, your scooter, and it goes right there. All right. And this uh, right here, this is your fuel inlet line. And we know that because if we follow it down, it goes to the output of the electric fuel pump right there. Now, I've got the rubber boot taken off that at the moment, and I will cover in a minute why I had to do that. Um, but anyways, your fuel inlet is right there. Of course, the carb's upside down, but it's right there is where that will hook in. Okay, and that little T-fitting that we looked at right here. You see, I've got the intake port shoved over here. I left that hooked up. So that shows you, see, that's going to sit down on there about like that. And it has this piece that comes over here to the T right there. Can't remember what hook's on there yet, but we'll run across it. Let's see. I think that's pretty much it. Got some electrical connections. I'll tell you what, I'm going to start uh, getting this carburetor put together because I've got, um, or get it installed. I've got these vacuum lines here that go onto the carburetor, um, right here that go onto the carburetor. So when I get those installed, then I will restart the video and show you how those hook up. Okay, we're back. Uh, slowly getting everything hooked up here. And I just wanted to show you 
that this right here, well, I gotta learn to get my hand out of the way of the lens. Okay, right here is the coolant block. And it keeps ice from forming in the carburetor. Anyways, if you see that coolant block right there, see one comes straight out from the carburetor and the other at an angle. The one that comes out at an angle actually travels along here and it ends up coming around a curve right here and it hooks into this area here where your radiator cap is right there and this is normally fastened up here like this and you got plastic over this area here so that's where that one goes and then let me try find the coolant block again show you where the other side goes yeah see here's our coolant block down in here the one that comes straight out goes down and around Now we're going to have to kind of move some things around here. And it hooks up. It goes right here. And it hooks right here into, well, let me move my hand. Right there into the engine block. Down in there. And that also looks like a temp sender right there. And I think your thermostat housing is actually right there, so it's right into there. So, I'll, um, I'm going to finish getting this coolant block mounted on the carburetor, and there's just no way I'm going to be able to put it on there and film me doing it. So, let me get that installed, and then I will tell you how it goes together. Okay, here's the coolant block, and it goes right in here. I can do this one-handed. See how it fits in there like that? And then, your idle speed adjustment, which is, let's see if this, I can do this without it popping apart. It sits in here like that. So when you put the screw in, it sandwiches the coolant block in between the bracket for the idle speed control and then your adjustment, and then the other part just goes on this little little boss here on the carburetor. This little raised portion there. So I'm going to get that all bolted together and show and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay. That's how it looks like when it's together. That screw's all chewed up. It was seized, so I had to, it seized when I went to take it apart so I had to put vice grips on it. And I'm not the first one to be into this scooter. Anyways, um that's how that fastens. And I also found out where this goes. This goes up here to your idle speed control, that spring, and your throttle stop. If you turn it all the way in, back it out six full turns, that's really close to where it was on mine. I haven't had mine running long enough to know if that's correct. But it would give you a good reference point. Just turn it all the way in, back it out six full turns. I'm not saying six half turns. I'm saying six full 360 degree turns. And you can also see these vacuum lines here. Um, this runs down here into this Y fitting. And then originally when I got this bike, somebody had this drain tube plugged in up top, or vent tube plugged up top. And then they had a spare one. Of course, they didn't know where it went. So you've got two things that hang off the carburetor. you got your drain, and you got your bowl vent. And where those go... This just runs down here right next to the crankcase. You see that little clip down there? That's where the drain tube goes. See if I can just run it down there. It'll end up running through like that. And this vent tube, it'll be down there someplace. I don't know where it was originally, but I figure if the bowl drain goes there, then the vent can go there too. Unless somebody can prove to me it goes somewhere else. So I'm going to continue working on this and see how it goes. I got the throttle hooked on now. I just disconnected these two screws when I took it off because I figured, well, these are pretty much close enough to being adjusted. So I just unscrewed these and then you can just peel that cable off 
and slip it through that gap slip that cable through that gap and same way over here so I'm just gonna leave it or I just left it the way it was so I've got that put on now so that's how that throttle assembly looks and subsequently then you can see uh, right here is this where this wiring clip is and there's a little bracket that fastens on the same screw as this kind of a bellows thing and then that wire runs over here to your enricher sorry this thing keeps going out of focus but this is your enriching circuit and it's got this little clamp for this vacuum tube screw there and there's another screw down in there so I think I've got that hooked up right I'll double check it and this right here this tube comes over here to this port on the side of the carburetor right there and that says T fitting and so when this is all installed it goes let me find that fitting it's down in here someplace I gotta make sure and block that intake oh here it is put over here this T fitting here so that will plug into here and I'll have to move some stuff around to get it all to fit. Um, there's also some wiring here. It plugs into the carburetor. And that's this little harness right here. And you see we've got this here and this here. That's got three pins. And that's got two. And so the two pin one goes in there. And the three pin one is the throttle position and it will go up inside there. This is some kind of a retainer for something. I think it fastens on the intake manifold and it's to guide some of the tubing. We'll figure out which tube it is once we get it together. So there's that for now. We're getting closer. I got the manifold put on these two 10 millimeter bolts and there's this little clip here and that holds uh, the coolant line that goes to the like the little block heater under the carburetor And I know it's been said in other videos. It doesn't matter which line goes to what port Although I did show you how mine's hooked up It doesn't the water does not go into the carburetor. It just goes up by it to keep it warm Keep it from icing right there. So anyways, you see that brackets holding this line and I don't know if it originally ran above. I didn't like it getting trapped underneath, so I ran it up and over. And then that kind of acts as a little guide to hold your plug wire. I don't know if that's totally correct or not, but it's correct in my world. I know I don't have the uh, wiring hooked up yet. I'll get that here in a moment. And then I've got this vacuum port here that needs to hook up to that. So, anyways, it looks like uh, everything that I explained is pretty correct. And uh, I hope you enjoy uh, the video here because I couldn't find any videos online that detailed it like this. So I will um, continue to hook this up, take periodic videos. You see right now I have to get my intake boot in here. And the reason I loosened this intake was to have enough room to pull the carburetor up. Now that I've put it back down in there, i got my intake on. And then I've got to work on getting this boot down in there I'll pull the carburetor back a little bit more and get this worked in there I'll probably have to redo everything that probably should have went on first but you know that's the life of a mechanic when you're working on unfamiliar stuff so that's it I'll see how I go our carburetor is now installed I was able to just tip the carburetor up to get the boot on and then tip it another way and then shove the whole thing together. And when you do, you got to make sure and line up a couple notches in the boot. If you look right here at the tip of the screwdriver, there's a notch right there in the boot. And that tab there in the manifold has to go in it. And then there's another one. Let's see if I can get it here on camera. Right down in here. And that's a notch on the boot and the tab on the carburetor side. 
And of course these screws line right directly up with the frame so you can't hardly get in there. I have another screwdriver with a longer shank that I can kind of come in here and get on them but they're going to get chewed up inevitably. Got a little bit more out of each one of them. And I got my wires hooked up. We've got this goes in here and then um, I routed the other one back down here. It comes up and underneath. Fuel line is also hooked up. If we come down here, you can see it right here. It comes up and it goes right, right in there. So there we go. Now, that pretty much will wrap up my video here on where all these lines for the carburetor go. This mess in here is really something else. And I can go over that one more time with you. I'm going to get down here and sit down on the ground. See if that helps. Eh? You've got... This is a vent right here. And that goes up. And you can see it right there through a little bracket. And that little bracket fastens. See if we can see it. There we go. Where the enrichment circuit is. Right there where my thumb is. Right there. And it comes up and over. Also, this line right here. I think that's the one that hooks to the T fitting. Yeah, we've covered that several times. And then the third one, see if I can find that. Yeah, it's right there. It goes into the port side of the carburetor, comes up and over. Um, some years of reflexes, they had like a little plastic bracket. Mine just had like this rubber sleeve. It has a, a rubber sleeve right there. And so then the uh, port... The vent tube over here that I just pointed out to you, these two go up and over and they go into, one of them goes into this little bracket, the other one just runs over. I think this is the one that plugs into the carburetor. And then they go to a Y, and that's the plastic Y, and then I just vent them out down below because that's all it is, a bowl vent. And then the third one that you see, it actually hooks into there. That little, that little port there on the side, and it, oh yeah, that's the one that comes over and hooks to the T-fitting. So that pretty much covers that. I'm gonna make another video that talks a little bit about the electric fuel pump. So thanks for watching and I hope my video helped.